Hey guys, Jim from Measure Square here. Welcome to the Pattern Carpet Layout Tutorial in the Measure Square 8 Special Topics Series. In this video, we will cover default calculation methods, pattern match by width factor, setting first cut in a room, and matching pattern carpet across multiple connecting rooms. To begin, we will cover the default pattern carpet match setting once we have a pattern carpet applied in our rooms. If we click on a room with our carpet, the cut sheet will show at the bottom of our screen. We can see the note above our cut sheet indicating that the default setting of roundup to pattern size is selected. This will round up each cut to the next full pattern size along both width and length directions. To change the estimating setting for our pattern carpet, we can click on the gear in the estimating section after making sure that our pattern carpet is selected. In this view, we can deselect the Roundup to Pattern Size checkbox, which will then allow us to set a manual match ratio. As a starting point, the match ratio will be half of a vertical and horizontal repeat. If we want to configure the setting for half width match, we can type in the dimension or just left click the appropriate dimension from the pattern match width field, like so. Note that the cut sheet and product quantity showing in the project item list have changed accordingly. We can add in a length match ratio by going back to the gear and selecting the appropriate value and see our cut sheet and quantity change accordingly. We can then try laying out our carpet with just a full vertical repeat and see the changes. To set the first cut within a room, we'll left click on the roll cut within the room to highlight it red. Then go to the top right and make sure that the property view for the room is expanded. Then click the first cut checkbox. This will remove the vertical repeat from the selected piece within the room as the other pieces will be matched to this cut. To set a pattern match across multiple rooms that connect, our first step is to hold down control and left click to highlight all of the rooms required. Then left click on the pattern position button in the top center. Hover your cursor over the desired start point for the pattern, centered on our hallway door in this case, and left click to place. Note all of our rooms will be matched to this line. 